Welcome to Batsy's Training Centre at Warrington. I'm Richard Green. Uh, more training Tuesdays coming up. This week we're going to be talking about the influ outside sensor for the Batsy 600-800 system boiler because there is a fundamental difference in the kit which we're going to cover in this short video. Stay tuned. The information in this video relates to the IFOS system boiler kit, our part number 772979. The fundamental difference in the kits is on the system boiler it incorporates this additional relay board. The reason we have this relay board is on a combi boiler when we turn a hot water tap on, a flow switch makes and the boiler knows this is a hot water demand and it therefore ignores the set point from the outside sensor and puts the boiler to maximum output to give us a reasonable delivery uh, time to tap. On a system boiler there are no flow switches so we need a mechanism which identifies the difference between a heating and hot water demand and tells this to the boiler. The relay board itself has got four wire connections, a red and a blue, and two greens. I can see by looking at this uh, relay board, it's set up for an S-plan configuration or a W-plan configuration. The two green wires tell me that. The green wire in the centre terminal is a common, and if it's set into the left-hand terminal as shown, that is for an S-plan or a W-plan system. If I wanted to configure it for a wire plan, I simply remove the green wire from the left hand terminal and place it into the right hand terminal for a mid position or sure flow valve. The blue wire is a neutral which connects to the main neutral on the input terminal block and the red wire we connect to the call for hot water side of our cylinder thermostat. Each time the cylinder thermostat calls for heat, it energises this relay and the two green wires indicate to the board it's hot water demand. The software on the board then ignores the set point on the flow temperature which is being controlled by the outside sensor and puts the boiler into maximum output to ensure a good recovery of hot water temperature in the store. Let's take a look at how we connect this part to the boiler. Ensure safe isolation by isolating the fuse spur and removing the fuse. Remove the front panel to get access to the inner control panel. Lower the inner control panel to gain access to the boiler electrical terminal block and test with a suitable voltage indicating device to ensure that the appliance is electrically isolated. Take the relay board and route the green cables beneath the existing wiring on the boiler. Position the relay so that the hole is in the bottom left hand corner above the uh, existing fixing point on the control panel. Using the screw providing the kit, anchor the relay board at this point. Take the two green wires from the relay board and connect to the two green wires on the brown terminal block as shown here. Check the wire connections are tight. And the green wires are connected to the green wires. Take the blue wire from the relay board and connect to the neutral on the boiler input terminal block, ensuring that the connection is tight. Now take the red wire from the relay board and place it into the spur terminal by the side of the neutral connection. Connect, tighten and ensure that the connection is tight. We now take our switch live connection from our controls call for heat which is typically on a Y plan or an S plan the orange wire. Take this wire and connect to the switch live input on the main terminal block as shown here. We also require a second call for heat. 
This should be run from the call side of the hot water cylinder thermostat, run into the boiler and connected to the red wire. Once this wire is connected, the boiler can now receive a direct call from the cylinder thermostat for a hot water demand, which energises the relay to inform the board that this is a hot water request to ignore the set point of the outside centre to go to maximum output to recover the stored temperature. Once the installation is complete, we refer to the manufacturer's instructions for commissioning and handover. Okay, I hope you found the information useful. Stay tuned for more news, views and how-to-dos on batches, trend Tuesdays. Until next time, take care.